Hey everybody, Monty Reed here, and I am making a mess with my Instant Pot, uh, trying to throw together some uh, chicken. And uh, I've got some chopped up chicken. I started on the saute cycle. I'm still not sure how everything works because I haven't read the manual yet, but I just couldn't wait to get cooking. So I've got, I've been sauteing a little bit of, uh, uh, let's see, pepperoni to get things going. Pepperoni and onions and celery, and then I just got that going and then uh, chopped up the chicken, threw it in there, it's still in saute mode and um, I forgot to do the better than bullion, so I've got a little bit of better than bullion over here, just mixing up on a pan to get it hot, I probably could have just tossed it in but I'm just about to throw that in so that I got enough liquid to bring to pressure could probably do this whole thing on in the pot, but this is new to me, so old habits die hard and uh, let's see Get this going, and then I'm going to go ahead and set this and have it get to pressure. And since it's hot, I think it'll be ready in 10 minutes once it gets to pressure. So I think I've got it set right on um, pressure cook and on. From what I can tell, it means that it's on, it's heating up. It hasn't got to pressure yet because this little dimple uh, thing is not popped up. But when that, um, when that pops up, then it'll start building pressure. And right now the lid's a little loose, but once it gets to pressure, the lid gets tight. And this is supposed to have a countdown once it gets to pressure. So we'll see how this 10 minute chicken works. So here I've got to turn this down because I'm going to try doing 10 minute chicken. So we'll do this to 10 minutes, push that, and then pressure high, keep warm, and start. There we go, preheating. So I hear it clicking, but I don't see anything happening on the timer. I can see that the stopper is up, so it um, should be under pressure. Okay, we just heard a beep, and the 10 minutes is now counting down. So we'll see, it just reached pressure. Looks like it took... 15 minutes for it to get to pressure, and now we've got it, should cook in 10. So that makes 25 minute chicken. Got three minutes left on the chicken. So it looks like it's ready. And we're gonna push the, press that to release the steam. If you change your mind, you can turn that and it repressurizes, but that's releasing the steam. It's done cooking, so I'm gonna pull it out and taste it. There we go. There we go. Instant pot chicken. There's my instant pot chicken. 10 minute chicken. Well, it's 25 when you count warm up time. This is Monty Reed for Kitchen Tips and the Instant Pot with some 10 minute chicken, which is actually 25 minute chicken. Hope you enjoy. Keep thriving, my friends.